this whole process, setting this whole up, this whole thing up. Thank you, Jing. Also, Sydney. Thank you, Sydney. Um, great effort put in by the, these lovely ladies, and uh, also Nicole, who has uh, who began Redemption Pause has been doing some wonderful work with it, and it's pretty much the reason that we're all here this evening. So if it goes terribly, you know who to blame. Blame me, blame me, blame me. Thank you guys, the work you do is great. And um, thank you for setting this up because I know we're gonna have fun. All right, question two, stalled too long. Everybody in, here we go. Nope, that's the wrong piece of paper. It's going well. Okay. Question number two, what is the name of the village where Merlin comes from? His hometown, as it were. Is it Idi... <laughs> Idi Sholas? Is it Carleon? Is it Firion? Is it Ialdor? Fire away. I actually went back and did an episode in his village. Had a lot of fun doing it as well. There's a little sort of old medieval village in Wales, which we used quite a few times because it was such a good spot to film in. And we may have even chanted the name of this village because we were so passionate about it. And the answer, of course, was Ialdor. 650 people. Oh, I think we need to uh, toughen these questions up a little bit. What do you think? Well done, 650 people of you. Um, Queen, At Queen Anna was quick off the mark. Lily is still in the mix. Millie Tobin, straight into second. Nice and tight early on. Well done, guys. So... Let's move on to question number three. And question number three is this. Who directed the first ever episode of Merlin? Was it Alice Troughton? Was it James Hawes? Was it Ed Freeman? Or was it Jeremy Webb? By the magic of technology, the question will appear. I think there'll be a high score on this one. You've got a bit of thinking time. I can say we were very lucky with our directors on Merlin because we had some great ones. Learned a lot from them, including those four mentioned. Ah. Oh, nice little director's chair there. Clap aboard. Okay. Two, one. Oh, not as definitive as you might think. The correct answer was indeed James Hawes. 303 of you got it right. That question did, in fact, toughen things up a bit. Ed Freeman directed the second block. James did the first block. Jeremy might have done the third, maybe fourth block. I'm not sure. Anyway, congratulations to 303 of you, well done. And the results have put Clara X, ooh, she was, a, she was a dark horse. Not too much consistency in this leaderboard at the moment. All right, we're three questions in. I'd say I'm getting a little bit lonely here. Self-isolation for you um, in my Merlin cave. How about we bring someone in to see what their cave looks like. What have we got, Melody? Well, mate, we put, we put a little call out earlier today to see what people were wearing and what they were dressing up like. Oh, yeah. Um, we've got a fair few people got in touch and yeah. picking a few people at random here. You're about to get some notifications. The first one is... Grace Smith, you'll get a notification to bring you on as a panelist, so come and join us. 
And Ooh. then next up is going to be... Whoa, um, whoa, whoa, Melody, sweet child of mine. Do you want one at a time, do you? One at a time. Let's okay, go one at well, time. Let's, uh, let's see what Grace has to offer. Let's bring Grace online. Grace, you should have a notification asking you to share your video. You with me, Grace? Grace! Look at you! I've got my medieval garb out. Wow, you sound uh, potentially Australian. Yes, I'm in Perth, Australia. It's 2 a.m. right now, but I'm here for this. Grace, I feel so guilty for, for keeping you up this late. <laughs> no. I tell you, it was, it was so worth it with the setup that you've got going on in the background. Yeah, pretty good. Um, I had these decorations for my 21st a little while ago. <laughs> specifically with Merlin in mind or a medieval theme? Yeah, just medieval Merlin, Harry Potter, whole kind All of... that stuff. Yeah. You're wearing what looks like a knight's cape. Yep. Do you have a particular knight who you are, you are fond of? Oh, I can't go past King Arthur. <laughs> that, that, um, looks like, that looks like a plant, Grace. That looks like we vetted everyone and what their answer was going to be. And they went, as soon as <laughs> there's King Arthur, like, get them up there. Yeah. Um, anyone else? Um, big Gwen and Percival fan. I actually met you guys back in 2013. Did, you do, the, did you do the Harlem Shake with us? Yes. Yes, I did. In Perth. Yeah. Wow, that went a lot better than I thought it was going to be when we were when we were talking about it. We could have done with you at the front with your with your cape. Yeah, no. You Did should. you have it then? I have what? Sorry. Did you have your cape back in 2013? No. So you with all no. these questions, I've brought you up in front of everybody, and I'm just drilling you for answers. <laughs> um, no, I didn't have it then. Okay. Unfortunately. Fair enough. I but you did dance. Up, you got what? A photo of us. There we go. Wow, that, <laughs> that, that was seven years ago. There you are. Yeah. How are yeah. you doing the quiz? Um, pretty good. I got that last one wrong, unfortunately. It was a tough one for a lot of people, I think. Yeah. So, don't yeah. worry. But don't I'm worry. still wearing to go. Still feeling good. <laughs> Perfect. I like yeah. that attitude. Grace, my dear, <laughs> thank you so much. Thank I'm you so, so much, Bradley. I'm so honoured that you'd stay up late for us, even just the, just joining us. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. And Thank you so much for having me. Great to see pleasure. you. My pleasure. Thank you, my darling. Right, Melalu, talk to me. Next up, we have Enrique. Enrique, you can now speak, I hope. Enrique. Hello, everybody. What a great name. Enrique, how are you doing? I'm from Brazil. My English is very bad. Hey, very bad. My Portuguese, my friend. Yes, Portuguese is very hard. <laughs> and uh, I sent this picture, and um, it's old picture, of course, but oh, it, wow. um, I live in a small city, and here we don't have uh, a Merlin uh, clothes. So they, uh, they store only had uh, this one, and was the hardest that I, I could do. You made that yourself? No, uh, found it. I buy, yes. How old are you in that picture? In the picture, six years. You were six years old in that picture. Is that when you started watching the show? Yes. And all these years later, here you are, taking part in this um, quiz. Now I don't have classes anymore because of this quarantine. I don't have classes, but I, in the college, I am doing medicine. Yeah. Well, well done for staying in, sir. Enrique, thank you so much for joining me tonight. I'm, thank you. I'm so pleased you're here. And thank you for... What time is it with you? It must be late afternoon? No, oh, it's... Early afternoon? 3 p.m. 3 p.m. There we go. So not as, not as drastic for you as it was for Grace. Enrique, thank you so much, man. It was great thank to talk. Thank you. Sorry for my English. Hey, it was very good, sir. It was very good. Thank you. All right, Melalu, talk to me. Okay, next up, we have a pair who, I mean, on Twitter, they made some homemade outfits that were pretty yeah. spectacular. Okay. They had some knight's helmets made out of um, 
what do we say, Coke Zero boxes. Oh, I saw this. I yeah. saw this. Where are the where are the helmets? Where are those helmets? Where are those yes. helmets? I saw this. This was this was fantastic. Uh, let me find you. This is me tapping on buttons. I can sort of see them. Oh yes. I that is right up my street for if I was asked like an hour before to do something, I would go and find a, a box and stick it on my head. Um, who, who is this I'm speaking to, Melody? I think they can answer for themselves now, if you can what speak. What are your names, my dears? Uh, Sophie. Sophie, hello. Hello. And who's with you, Sophie? I'm Georgia. I'm Georgia. Georgia. Um, genius use of Coke boxes there. <laughs> Genius. I, I seem to remember it coming with a, um, was there a sword involved as well? A little cut out sword? Yeah, yeah. the cats haven't eaten it. <laughs> right. Are those cats sort of doubling up as your trusty steeds? They yeah. are, yes. I love it. I love it. <laughs> How are you doing on the quiz? Not too bad. We're doing okay. We're sitting in like the 200th place. So, yeah, okay, well that's, that's uh, what, a quarter of the way up? Something like that? Yeah. <laughs> hey, there's still time. There is still time. Some of these, some of these questions, this leaderboard's gonna, gonna switch a route all over the place. Um, ladies, thank you so much for joining me today, this evening. Thank where you, are you? Where are you? Where are you coming in from? Where? Where? Did you from Melbourne. From Melbourne. Yeah. What time? What? Oh my word! What time is it? Uh, Four thirty. The guilt coursing through me at the moment to, of keeping you up at this time of night. I am so sorry, but I'm also so delighted. I'm so delighted that you have you have stayed up. Thank you very much for joining me. No worries. Lovely Thank to see you. you. Right. Well done, Melody. Handled that well. Just about. Okay. Let's uh, let's get ourselves on to question number four. Shall we? Ooh, okay. Here we go. You ready, Jing? How many episodes of Merlin were made in total? Was it 50, 60, 65, or 75? A bit of maths required here, clunk on the table. That's probably not helpful for any of you. Um, if you can work out, well, if you can work out how many episodes there were in a series, then you can times it by however many series there were. That might help. How's your maths? Seven seconds to go. Have you got it? Very good. You should see, so, wow, 557 people got that right. What's that done to our leaderboard? Bar X have been nudged off just like that. Here we go, so we've got Gabby. Gabby, how do you feel right now? You are one point ahead of Maddie, Gabby and Maddie. And Aaron Franco, he's hot in your tail. All right, question number five. It's tense. This is tense. You guys are good. And Hora is the keeper of the what? The gates, the valley of the fallen kings, the beasts, or the unicorns? I really like this episode. And there's a picture of me enjoying the episode, I suppose. A lot of cape action going on there. Nick, what was Nick's last name? He was our photographer. He was bloody good. Bloody good old Nick. Okay. Three, two, one. How many have you got this? Clearly, at least 592 of you watched The Labyrinth of Gadreth, which is one of my favorite episodes. I love it. Uh, I haven't watched it for a long time, but 
I do remember it standing out for me. Uh, well done to you, 592. Clearly too easy a question. What's that done for the results? Have we got Maddie and Gabby still at the top? Maddie's still there. Gabby's up there. But Aaron Franco, hot on their tail. Boom, straight in. Now we're starting to see some consistency. Nine players have reached answer streak three. However, does that mean, do you reckon Aaron Franco's got them all right? I don't know. Okay. All right. I think it's time for our first mystery guest. Mystery guest, please reveal yourself. And the music has gone to crotch first. <laughs> the interesting choice. And now he's gone for chest. And there's his face. Oh! Hey <laughs> oh my God, Rupert! We obviously oh, had the same, the same it's conversation me. about what we were wear. Except for me. Oh, look at that! Hey. Didn't even plan it. Didn't even um, plan it. I'm, it's weird. It's weird. It's weird. It could have been any colour. I, I love... Um, I'm disappointed by your beard growth, Bradley. But how many weeks is that? <laughs> this is... This is 